everyone welcome back to the final unboxing video for my uh, current hua can haul this is the fourth kit that i got out of the order that i made uh, and this will be um this one i'm blaming on <laughs> well i'm not blaming i pressed buy but i saw this particular kit being unboxed on stitcherista uh, danielle's channel and absolutely fell in love with it because I love anything and everything Disney so this is the um, Tinkerbell that's in like these beautiful blues and peaches and I'm just in love with this kit so uh, yeah I'm really 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 excited to do this one she's actually doing it at the moment um, with all her paint with me videos she's working on this particular kit and I'm just loving how it's coming out so I am very, very excited to do this kit because the more I see hers, the more it makes me want to do mine. So, uh, when I unboxed it, obviously it came with other canvases, so I don't have the box, but it came with the canvas, the drills, and the standard toolkit of the placer, boat, multi-placer, wax, and tweezers. So I'll just pop that down there. All right, uh, let's, do, let's do canvas first. So again, this just seems to be the standard hua can. I really need to know if that's how you say it, hua can. I don't know. I work with a lady who speaks Chinese Mandarin. Maybe I'll ask her if this is if we're, if we're pronouncing it right. All right. So this is a forty by fifty. It is, how many colours? It is 35 colours. If I can get the tape off, the, oh, far out. Okay. What have I done? Oh, I'll grab the wrong end. There we go. The legend looks a little bit blurry, but I, I mean, it's still really, you know, you can see all the, all the letters, all the numbers, so I should say, um, it just seemed, it just looks like maybe, in, I don't know, just, every, it looks a little bit, maybe that's just me, maybe I'm being pedantic, probably just being pedantic, all right, let's see what we've got. And there is the whoa hello <laughs> there's the foam sorry I just need to have a drink oh I've got such a sore throat oh miserable but anyway all right let's fold this back let's get this way bit of foam okay all right let's start down here yeah it's a little bit blurry but I mean it's totally workable I mean I, I work on top of a light pad so hmm, actually I don't know, maybe this, I don't know. If anybody else has gotten this kit, tell me what your drill field looked like. Because to me, that just doesn't seem as clear. I don't know, hang on a second. Let me see if I can move you, you can see it a little bit easier. Hang on a second. Like, does that seem really blurry? Or is that just me and I'm being really, really over the top? I don't know. Let me put my light pad underneath it. Hang on, let me finish straightening it out first. 
I'll put my light pad underneath it and I'll have another go. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe this is how it's meant to be and I the other ones are just make I don't know. Cause I mean other than this, I've been really happy with who I can. I've had absolutely no problem with the other canvases. Um, all the drills were there. And even when I like peel back the papers, the the actual printing on the canvas where you put the drills was really clear. You could see all the symbols. There wasn't this like some of these. I'm really going to have to. I'm going to have to be guessing. I mean, especially for these confetti parts. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Like it almost looks like it's been double printed. I think that's going to give me a real headache. Okay. All right. All right. This is what we're going to do. Lay this back down. I'll do my inventory. and flat because I mean I don't even know what that symbol is meant to be oh it's that one all right let's do inventory then I will plug my light pad in I'll put my light pad underneath it and we'll see if that makes a difference Like I said, if anybody has done this particular Tinkerbell and had the same, like their canvas looked the same, can you let me know? I, I really want to know whether I should be worrying about, like, do I, well, not send it back, but do I, like, ask for a bit of a refund? It's going to be really difficult to work on. I don't know. So we should have, and I put it over here, we should have 35 colours. Alright, let's go through. Whoa, lots of white. Okay. Uh, let's just split these up into number families. Two, three, two, nothing. One has a two in front of it. Has a one. Has a two. Look at that orange. It's so pretty. Yay. One, a two, a whoop. Come back here. A one, a one, a one. Two, three, one, two, a two, and a two. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's have a look here. So we've got. Okay, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoops, I've just mixed up my piles. Okay. We need 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20, oh wow, look at that colour. Oh, so pretty. Okay, 23, 24, 20, 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and Holy Mother of White, 35. Cool, we have all the colours. So I will bag these up. Uh, in my little sandwich bags that I use with my uh, little tag that I put on the front just to tell me the size, uh, well the name, the size, how many colours it's got and if it's square, round, partial, what have you. I'll just peel that off. in my light pad. Uh, Alright, light pad. So I just gotta move this stuff out of the way. So it's my bit of chocolate milk <laughs> in my Game of Thrones mug. Okay. the only thing I can drink at the moment is not making my throat sore. Alright, so this is just my light pad. I got it off eBay. I think it was like $25, $26. Uh, and then I just used a bit of this like grippy, like you use it under plates and stuff like that, but I just use it because this is my desk that I also work at for doing school work and um, stuff for work and, and you know other bits and pieces. Um, I, I didn't want to put anything down on my desk here to attach my light pad to it. So this is awesome. It's the right size. I just put my light pad down and it doesn't move. So let's plug this bad boy in. Is that the right plug? No. What's that plug for? Oh, fire. Okay. Nope. That's the camera one. Okay. You go over there. Alright. I bent up a little bit. Okay. It's a bit odd, but anyway. Alright. So, what we're going to do. Actually, this might be bad. Hang on. Um, Still really hard to see. Hang on, come for the trip. So, this is what I'm seeing at the moment on my light pad. Right. In these confetti bits. I don't know, am I, am I being too picky? I'm really not sure. I'm trying to hold you still. Can you see what I'm talking about? I don't know if I'm being too picky or whether this is just how this particular canvas comes. So if I turn the light off now, let me just pull this plug out. I don't know, but anyway, okay. Leave it with me. I'll have a think. See if I want to do something about it. Alright, so. Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh, now you're all out of skewy. Sorry if that made anyone motion sick. Alright, so 
that was my unboxing for my Tinkerbell uh, canvas from Pua Can. Uh, it was, let's see how much it was, $19.66 uh, in Australian. It was free shipping. I ordered it on the 26th of June. Uh, I got it on the 17th of July. Uh, it, uh, 35 colours, 40 by 50. And I think it's going to be really cute. I think it's going to be really cute once it's all said and done. Just going to have to work out what I'm going to do with the clarity. I don't know, maybe it's meant to be like this, I don't know. But anyway, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you around for my next video. Hopefully I will get a paint with me done soon and I will have a bit more to chit chat about and um, can kind of fill you in on a few things and tell you how I came about diamond painting. So I uh, have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll speak to you all really soon. Bye guys. Hi guys, you get to see my face. Don't be alarmed, this is my post work look. Uh, it's a little bit messy hair, don't care. It's like, you know, almost 25 to six and I've just walked in, well, I haven't just walked in the door. I walked in the door a few minutes ago and I just thought I'll just quickly film this and then I'll get on with the night. Wanted to give you a quick update about the Who Can canvas that I just showed you the unboxing for. Um, since I have done that unboxing, I've actually been in contact with Who Can and explained what I thought about the canvas and that I thought it was a bit blurry and what did they think I could do about it or how could they help me. Ended up being that they actually refunded me most of how much I paid for it. I think I ended up, I paid about $20 for the canvas and they refunded about $17. Uh, however, they're not asking for the canvas back. So I still get to keep the canvas and the drills um, and they've refunded most of the price. So I'm going to see if I can, if I can do the diamond painting because I still really want to do it. I love Tinkerbell and I love, I love, love, love the colours in it. So I still am going to give it a go. Um, it might be a little bit harder to see some of the symbols, but I think that's where my light pad will come in handy. So wanted to give you that quick update and let you know that if you ever have an issue, um, most of the sellers on AliExpress are really happy to work with you. Um, you've just got to be able to work with them back. So, I mean, I'm never rude when I jump in to ask, you know, if there was, if there's an issue going on. Um, I'm never one to jump to the blame. I, will, I always just start off with, hey, I noticed this. Um, I'm a little disappointed. How can we work together to resolve this? And it ended up being that um, they did... Uh, refund some of the money for the canvas. I mean, not all of the money for the canvas, which I don't mind because I'm still keeping still keeping it. I'm keeping the drills and I will eventually do the picture. Uh, but, you know, I think that's a good outcome for all involved. So I wanted to give you that quick update. And, um, yeah, still would totally recommend who can. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing that diamond painting. So hopefully I get to bring that to you soon. Uh, have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And uh, I'm going to go and feed the dog and uh, feed me. <laughs> have a great day, guys. Bye.